Hey guys, what's up? It's Lee Michael M here, Night Seven Seven. As you've seen the catch in before, I'm reviewing Rocket League, and this game is on PS4 and PC. I'm reviewing the PS4 version because I don't play on PC. Sorry, let's just get over that right now. So, Rocket League is a game I did not even see coming. It was a game on PlayStation Plus that I didn't know, and I heard people talking about it, and I was like, "Oh, can we try it out?" And let me just say right now, uh, the developer Physi Physinex Studios, you have made an outstanding game. Now, what's Rocket League about, basically? It's basically like taking the idea of Mad Max car, like car combat type of scenario, and mix it with soccer, and you get this type of game. Cars crack, cars like go against each other, they jump in the air, and they basically play soccer. And it's an amazing idea, it's a crazy concept, and it works in Rocket League. It's a simple, multiplayer-focused game. It's actually a sequel to another one of their games called Battle Cars, something like that. I never played Battle Cards, but this is their first game I ever played of theirs. And let me just say, I've been playing this game for a while and it's gotten me hooked. And there's not that much to the game, but that's the point. It's just a simple game. They hang, they play with friends, and you, it's really worth playing at times. It really is worth it. So let's talk about the game's visual style, the design of the graphics, the art design. It all looks good. It's simple. And it doesn't need to be too flashy or too, um, how can I say it, um, ridiculous. It's just subtle. And it's simple gameplay with simple visual design. There's blue teams, there's orange teams. That's simple. And the graphics look amazing on PS4. You know, it, it looks really well done here. And it just all just helps the game look so good with its, with its physics, animations, and all of the above. And help the physics is what really makes this game just outstanding. Now, what I mean by that is that your car, you, the ball, soccer ball has its own physics. The car has its own physics. You could jump in the air. You can do flips with the cars, you can go upside down with the cars. There's so much stuff with to do with the cars that you really don't feel like that the game is just bare bones. There's so much to do. And it, it's that's just scratching the surface of it. There's 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 so much like ideas to do here. There's there's eight players online all together. You can play with eight buddies and you can basically have awesome tournaments. You can do tournaments with this game. While your other games fail to do that, this game really just has this cool tournament style. And not one game ever feels the same because one match can end differently, another one can add, um, uh, end in an entirely awesome way, or one that sucks. It depends on your teammates or if you won or not. And these matches only take uh, five minutes each, so it's fine to pick up a, a pick up and play situation. You don't have to spend two hours playing it. You can play the game for 30 minutes, and you can just have a good full time relaxation with it. And that's just the beginning of what makes Rocket League so special. The customization of this game is also, may I just say, well done, probably. It has a lot of customization. It has different car um, body body design, so you can have like a big truck design. You can have like a slim car that's small, like a Lamborghini design, I believe. And there's so much more. There's flags of countries all over the world. However, just, it, they don't have all the countries, like a few of them are something like uh, Puerto Rico and a few others, which is a true shame. Why don't they have that? But they have tons of other flags there, so that's kind of nice that they add. They also add turbo boost colors, so you can change the color of your boost. You make it neon colors, or you can make it look like a thermal blue color. And it all just adds really well. Um, it, it just shows that developers had a lot of detail. Hell, if you get the game on PlayStation, actually, on PlayStation Plus, which is free this month only, there's also um, a sweet tooth uh, a vehicle that you can unlock, which is really cool to play with. You know, it's awesome to really get all this added stuff all together. And playing online against random people or with a big party of friends is just where the game's core is really where it shines the best. Physinex Studios, you guys are good with this game. It look, it, it plays well. It works well. I must just say overall. The game is a smash to play. Uh, I must just say though that I'm really surprised at the addition of split screen multiplayer. Exactly. There's split screen two player multiplayer and I believe you can play online with that as well. I haven't tried it yet but I did play offline uh, split screen with my little brother and we had some great times playing. Sometimes we go against each other and sometimes we work together and at times it just made the game that much more fun. It made it much more competitive and it also made it just much more great memories to have with my little brother, you know? It's always a good thing to do, you know? And I also would say that the game, overall, while it may not have, like, tons of content, like, story-wise or anything like that, it doesn't need to have that type of content. It's a simple game, and I love the fact that it's simple. It doesn't need to be over-complicated. 
There's private lobbies, there's, um, you can make private parties, public matches, and there's always all these awesome tons of stuff to do here. I mean, if you look at this footage, you can tell just by looking at the game that looking at the game is, isn't enough in order to really be satisfied. You have to really play this game to really be satisfied. And that is saying a lot, because other games you can look at and just be like, oh, okay, I'm satisfied with it. But Rocket League really requires that you really play the game, and it really does work well. Um, now, when it comes to uh, online servers-wise, the game also works most of the time there. Every once in a while, I did notice a little bit of lag, but it was never a big problem, you know? It was just like a little issue here or there. That's it. Nothing big, nothing uh, dramatic to worry about. The game works well online. However, I did hear at launch that there was a few server issues. But, however, I think the developers already fixed it by now. And what's cool is the developers are going to be supporting this game the more... Uh, the longer it's out, so I believe there's going to be a spectator mode coming soon in the update, I believe, so that's kind of cool as well, you know? It's all just fun satisfaction, and I just love that. I mean, there might not be a lot to say about Rocket League, and that may be its own charm, is that it's a simple game. You can only describe, it's like one of those games you can describe in one sentence. In my personal opinion, Rocket League is a game that you'll enjoy, that's simple, and worthwhile playing. However, the, the, the charm this game has, the, the really true charm of this game is when you play with friends that's where the game really does shine the most it may be it may feel repetitive if you're playing by yourself solo or frustrating when you're playing online against random people who are freaking professionals and you're just like a rookie at the game but overall rocket league is just a unique gem it's an under under uh, not underappreciated but unexpected gem and in a time of july i mean this game came out in july and i must just say for a july game well, there's not that many games coming out in the summer, not that many, like one or two maybe. This is really something that's awesome to play. I recommend it to anyone who has PlayStation Plus this month for free. It's free for PlayStation Month, uh, PlayStation Plus for July. However, if you're not buying it then, you're gonna buy it on a PC, you have to pay $20 for it. Whatever the price is, wherever you want, it's all up to you whether you want to pay 20 bucks for an online only, multiplayer focused, uh, working together, teamwork style type of gameplay. Personally, if I had $20, I would basically buy it right away, you know, because it's just that much more fun to play. I mean, there's times where I played with friends, like I said before, and I had the best times in a long time when it comes to playing with friends. I mean, the game is never too, truly frustrating. I mean, the controls are so simple, but they are so, there's so much um, stuff hidden underneath it that you don't feel like there's not that much added to it. They didn't just throw a simple button system and just said, okay, that's it, that's how we're doing it. It's easy to understand, but it's hard to master. It's like uh, the Super Smash Brothers when it comes to the combat system. Yes, the combat system requires two or three buttons altogether, but how you use a button to how you do those combinations depends on how you play the game. Are you going to be strategic, wait for them to come at you, or are you going to go straight in and be brawlers? There's so much to this game, and so much... Stuff. I'm repeating myself. I, I, I think I'm repeating myself, but I don't care. I just want to spend more time talking about this game. Servers-wise, like I said before, is oh well. The music in Rocket League is so awesome. It, it is this cool style of music that I really am glad of enjoying. It's like this cool music you can listen to in the menus or and listen to while playing. It is just so good to listen to. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's like that smooth music that never is uh, over exaggerated or ridiculous thank god for that you know uh when it comes to, uh, when it comes to offline mode there is exhibition mode where you just make simple matches between two on twos three on threes or four on fours or one on ones mono and monos and um it's all fine there it all works uh well there's even a season mode where it's basically like on um, those wwe uh, wrestling games when it's like the um when you create a wrestler and then you have to make a campaign where you basically do week after week of wrestling matches. It's like that. There's a week after week status of races, not races, but soccer matches. And it's all fine. It's a simple system. And the AI is challenging at times, to be honest. I mean, the AI are no pushovers. They are intense little guys who will piss you off. But that's fine by me. I mean, I mean, I want a game to be challenging. But uh, I don't want a game to be too easy, though. So it's a, it's a perfect difficulty. And that's what makes Rocket League that just so much more better, you know? Overall, the game just has so much in it. Like I said before, I'm repeating myself, I know. Sorry about that, but I just have to say, Rocket League is a game that I will never really understood 
how it did not come it came under the radar for me i mean seriously this game has so much to do so much content may i just say under its surface that you really do feel like you really were satisfied with the entire end product that there's no way that this game could be disappointing you know there's so much to do like i said before i'm repeating myself sorry about this i'm repeating myself over and over i should just say Rocket League is a game that I think everyone on PlayStation 4, the PS Plus, should play, you know? That's what I personally think about it. The stats is there, the, there's great... You can even start eSport tournaments and just have so much fun with it, you know? And surprisingly, for a soccer game, I never played a soccer game before, but this is like the most fun I ever had with a soccer game, period. So this is a good thing as well, you know? It's interesting, it's also fun. It's like having those RC cars in your little kid, and you're messing around with soccer balls, and that's the type of game that Rocket League is. And that's what makes Rocket League so special. Is that it's not like your average racing game or your soccer game. Instead, it mixes both varieties in there. And what you get is a unique gem that I think anyone on PC or, or PS4 should play right away. You know? There's going to be updates and some DLC, I believe, coming soon for this game. But I don't know if all of it will be free. But let's just say that I'm looking forward to more Rocket League and more content for this game. You know? So guys, that's it for this video. So let's get into the final verdict scores. Now my overall score for Rocket League is a full 9 out of 10 score overall. Um, now, well, the reason why I'm not giving it a perfect game is is that, it, like I said, it might get repetitive if you're playing by yourself. It's kind of, The fact that you have to play with friends kind of feels like you have to coordinate at times and it kind of maybe feel disappointing for those, for those who have to feel like who, doesn't, who wants to play the game alone, just play by yourself. Maybe it's only for those. But overall, Rocket League is so much fun. Another thing I, I kind of don't like um, is I, I did notice some issues online, like some server issues. Um, but overall, the server issues were never a big enough problem to ruin the game for me. It would happen once in a while, like when the lag would possibly send my car through the floor and I got stuck there. I had to quit the game and all that stuff. But that's it. There was no crashing. There was no freezing. It was just like lag issues, you know? So, that's the only problem that Rocket League has. And I think it's a recommendation, and I recommend it with a seal of approval. My seal of approval, I don't have a, like a little design for it, but I recommend this game to anyone who loves sports, car racing, mixing, Rocket League game. If you like the footage you're seeing now, then I definitely say go pick up Rocket League right away. I recommend that you will not regret it. Okay, guys? And then remember, it's free on PS Plus this month only. So you are, so you better well get it right now. I mean, it's a free game. It has so much stuff in it that you don't feel like it's a chore. And that's always a good thing. All right, guys. So that's it for this video, guys. More reviews are coming soon. Please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Remember to do that for me, guys. Okay? And I'm gonna uh, check out my channel, the Michael M1977. That's where I do all my videos and more reviews will be coming soon for that. Also, follow me on Facebook as Michael Martinez, you know, the one and only. Then you can follow me on Twitter as TheMichaelM1997. And there you will find more content of me, I think, talking. Well, tweeting and all that stuff. I don't tweet too much, but I'll tweet once in a while, give me updates on what I'm doing for my channel, what I'll be reviewing soon, you know? Alright, guys? So that's it for this video review. What I'll do next depends on how I feel about it, alright? But hopefully I'll be reviewing until dawn next, and after that, MGS5. That's all I gotta say, guys, alright? So remember, please like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, what is that word again? What's that word again? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Share with others. Share on your media places like Facebook, so I get some, you know, recommendations, you know? People could help me out here, you know? As much support as you guys give me, I'll be happy with it. Okay, guys? So, once again, I will see you on the next episode of The Michael M. 1997, everyone, alright? Now, once again, like always, have a good day and have a good one. See you next time. Alright, guys? Bye bye.